That was Sweet Dreams Are Made of This by the Arrhythmics, big hit in England. I'm Merle Ginsberg on Video Wave, and in our studio today we have Annabella from Bow Wow Wow. And uh, Annabella, why don't you tell me what happened to the U.S. tour? Um, we had to cancel it because our lead guitarist Matthew Ashman broke his hand. He fell off the stage in uh, the Great Adventure Park, New Jersey. How yeah. did he fall off the stage? He's wearing dark shades and he went the wrong way. Oh, you're kidding. No. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, it happened. Uh, so apparently he didn't even know until the next day that he'd broken his hand. No, we uh, we went to Jacksonville, Florida, where we had another sh another show, uh -huh. and he just said, "Oh, my hand feels a bit, you know, hurts," and he went to the hospital to check it out, and they said, "Well, he can't do any more, you know, playing for at least a month." Oh. Uh, so we had to cancel it. So w what does that, you know, what's going to happen? Are you going to go back to England or? Yeah, um, we're going back to England. I've been in New York for a couple of weeks to two members, me and Dave Bob Ross of the drummer. Right. Um, we're going back to record a new album after Matthew's recovered. We've got to start writing material and uh, then a, a new tour will be scheduled. So you're not like you. resting at all really? Not <laughs> really, no. We got uh, an offer actually to do a show in Budapest. Really? Hungary, yeah. It's called Great. the Hungry Girls Concert. <laughs> um, so Dave and all the rest of the band have got to dress up as women. You're kidding? No, it's quite serious. Don't they realize that you're not an all-girl band? <laughs> no, but you see, it's a lot of money, like really a lot of money off right. it. So we've really got to, you know, we've got to do the show. It's very important. Like we've got Banana Rama and Toto Quella and some English groups on, all girls. And so we want to be on there because we think it's oh, pretty I good. Oh, I love it. It's going to be like, yeah. did you ever see this movie called Some Like It Hot? Um, yes, with Man and Money. <laughs> right, and yeah. the two guys dress up as women and they're yeah, in a the band. I thought, yeah, I thought it looked really good. Yeah, it's a great yeah. movie. It's going to be just like that. Oh, mm. my God. Yeah, it's quite interesting. <laughs> Um, the album that you just put out um, apparently is, is sort of different direction for the band because you all wrote the songs together, is that right? Yeah, well it's um, only different because we haven't got our previous manager's ideas on it, but um, this album has done a lot better than our last album, even though it's sold only three singles a week, but we've done really good really. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we think it's a great album and we've still got a lot of hope in it. Um, and of course, you, you had a video, Do You Want to Hold Me? Right, we're going to see that uh, in a minute. From our album. We've got a new single coming out pretty soon from oh, it really? called Love, Peace and Harmony, um, which we're actually working on this moment in the studio uh, to remix it before it comes out as a 12 inch. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah. Um, it seems like the songs have gone from the direction of being sort of um, um, analytical and philosophical to being really sort of hopeful. Do you think that's true? Um, well, I think they're more stronger. We feel stronger about them on stage as we play. I feel stronger when I sing on stage now because, like, I help to cre you know create those songs. So if anyone's got anything to say about it, then they come and tell me about it, and I'll just say, well, what it's about. Mm -hmm. Whereas before, they used to ask me, and I didn't know anything, you know. Um, they're definitely more. They're more fun doing on stage, and they, um, you know, they, they definitely, you know, a lot of people enjoy it more now for some reason, so it's great. Those two girl dancers who used to be with you are not with the band anymore, right? No, they're not. Right. And also your, um, your look seems to have taken lots of different directions. Excuse me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hot. It's um, very hot. Yeah, the look, no, I think it's just, it's funny, someone told me that the other day, not really, it's just the fashion you're talking about. Yeah. Well, we don't wear the clothes we used to wear uh, for various reasons. Um, it's always seemed to be a big part of the band, though. Well, it's only a very the, visual band, I think. Well, if you've noticed, a lot of groups are coming over, and a lot of them look pretty much the way we used to look that's about three, three years ago. This is true. Um, you know, that sort of fashion and all the rest of it is not really that important to us. What's more important now is the music and um, you know how we come across, uh, more than just like the way we look, you know. Um, a lot of English groups are coming over now, and they look pretty much like we did. And it's, it's all very old hat, very boring, because <laughs> it is, because like, it's been done, you know. And to do it again would be just totally, really, really drab. Yeah, you can yeah. tell now, actually, watching the band, that music is really the focal point, you know, and you can yeah. even see that in the it's video. It's more important, especially in the States. We found that when we came over and started touring in the States, a lot of people appreciate music more than they just, away the, you know, the way the band looks. Whereas in England, this is very fashion orientated. They, they, you know, care about what a group looks like. 
young girls like drooling over pop stars because of Kaja Guga. the way they look, her dyed <laughs> hair and their makeup, you know, so thinking they look really pretty. And, um, you know, now what's more important, like you said, it's music, you know. We're going to see some of that music right now, the Do You Want to Hold Me video, and we'll be right back. I'm back with Annabella, and um, we're talking about the band changing, and um, I really want to ask you about your singing, you know, because when you first started, you were obviously a really natural talent, but it's, <laughs> it's gotten, um, oh yes, and you, you were oh, very young. Thank you. But it's gotten, I mean, actually, I think your singing's gotten much clearer, and you seem to feel much stronger about it. Well, I think it's due to the fact that when you're on the road for like, well, a long time. We've been on the road like nearly three years almost, it seems. Three and a half years. You know, you do build up a certain amount of, I suppose, confidence as well as gaining experience. And, um, you know, all the late nights and all the parties and meeting the people <laughs> and all the rest of it. Right. All, the, all the stage work, well, stage work for me. I, you know, you do build up a lot of experience. And uh, maybe that's, that's the reason. I feel more confident now than I ever did. Uh, but I still feel I have a lot to to learn. Um, have you have you still ever had any singing lessons? Uh, I had one once, but that was like <laughs> it was a joke because the girl, the woman that taught me was an opera singer, and she couldn't sing the way I sang, and I couldn't sing the way she sang. So I just said, forget it. I don't think I should bother coming to these lessons anymore. And uh, you know, we went our separate ways, sort of thing. Uh, she taught quite a few people actually, but. Um, it didn't really help me because all those sort of singer, singers are all, you know, pushed into sort of one sort of category where they have to sing a certain way. You're taught how to, you know, sing the way that, you know, the teacher tells you and you just lose your whole identity, you know, and how you feel you want to do it and it doesn't come natural. It becomes very, you know, very sort of straight and just boring. It can well, be very boring. You're singing. Excuse me a minute. <laughs> you are definitely not boring. Well, I feel a bit boring actually. <laughs> Well, why don't you tell me about the next album, which you told me that you're going to start um, recording really soon. Well, actually, that won't be out until we Matthew's recovered or we start working on it until he's recovered. So I haven't Can really got any idea hand? about it. <laughs> uh, no, he, he can't. It's in a cast, you see. Uh. But uh, as I said, as soon as he's recovered, then um, we get on with that new album. But uh, luckily, we've got a film coming out called Scandalous, right, I was just gonna which is out in that. November. And that stars Sir John Gilgood and Robert Hayes, the film Airplane. And we've done a, a couple of our songs are in there. Plus, we're doing. Are you the in it? Do you like? Yeah, we're in the film. Great. We, it's it's going to be a, it's a co sort of comedy thriller. It's really funny. Um, it's going to be out in America and England. So that's going to be out whilst we're you know if we're not around sort of thing in mm -hmm. November. That's a good idea. Yeah, actually. whilst we're working in the studio, or whatever. There was some rumor going around that I read. I think in the Melody Maker that said that Walt Disney wanted was like trying to sign you for a big you know million dollar contract to do four movies or something like that. Um. Yeah, that's right. That was just um, something that some nut in England thought up of, uh. you know. Thought we'd just be a bit stupid about it. No, that, unfortunately that didn't go through because of my hairstyle, apparently. <laughs> You're yeah. joking! Something like that, I don't know. Oh my God. Do you think they really were interested in... Uh, oh no, uh. no. It's because, of the, it's because of the video we did for uh, Song Do You Want to Hold Me. Right. We all dressed up as video, you know, characters in Disneyland and just, ah. just cartoon sort of characters. You know. Right. Are you interested in doing any like film work or right? um, I can't. I can't act to save my life. No. Uh. So I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's see. Um, do you have a title for the new album? Nope. <coughs> we're still trying to get. You know, when the going gets tough, tough get going. We're still promoting that. Anyway. Right. Yeah. Do you think that the n the new songs will be in the same direction? Or? Uh, I haven't a clue. Oh, I thought you'd written it already. No, we haven't written oh. it yet because we haven't worked on it because of Matthew. Oh, See, we came okay. straight off the road, came straight to New York after after he had to fly fly back, and you know. You've been spending a real lot of time here. Yeah, we've been trying to explain to everyone because a lot of people still thought we were playing and touring, and it's like really horrible for people to sort of expect you to come and then suddenly you haven't turned up on that day, and they say, well, what the hell is happening? You know, it's it's like best to explain what's going on. You know. Yeah. Don't want to mess anyone around. After all, apparently it, it really seems like uh, well, you've got a huge audience in America now. Mm. It seems like, um, in a sense, you're becoming sort of a, an American band in a way. 
No, I don't think we'll ever be an American band. <laughs> we're from England, we're the English. Right. Thank you, Annabella. And now we're going to watch the Anti-Noah Leagues, So What?